Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hillcrest Energy Technologies, a channel with energy solutions of powering the future. To discuss some pivotal news, here we have Don Curry, uh, the CEO, joining us as always. Welcome back, sir. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to get you back on. I mean, you guys have this uh, breakthrough in your EMC chamber testing with this European um, automotive OEM, and I know you guys have been in discussion with some of the OEMs. You want to break down what that news means in this progression? Yeah, sure. Well, you know, we've talked to, we've talked at length about uh, the protective shielding that has to be put around cables. Well, there's more than that. <clears throat> EMI accounts for a lot of different problems in a car, and so they put protective shielding around cables around the inverter, boxes around the batteries, shielding around the, the heat pump, so on and so forth, because uh, the EMI causes problems. Uh, this particular OEM, when they came to us, had said that their first priority was to lower, to see if our technology would lower EMC to a level, EMI and EMC to a level, whereby they didn't require the protective shielding. We have met that request from them. We've shown in tests that we could get to a certain level. The, we then went to their labs, which are uh, slightly more sophisticated, and they took it to higher power levels, and we uh, we exceeded what they what they were looking for, which is good for us because it's a uh, it's a real key. It's a cost saving measure for them, which is one of their biggest focuses, no matter what. Now, how do you see that kind of uh, bleeding into growth this year as well? You guys in discussions with some other OEMs. I mean, you're getting these great results. How does this kind of translate to sales? Yeah, there's three or four OEMs that have scheduled uh, more tests in their facility. We've done the tests in our facility. They've seen the things. Uh, March, uh, middle of March, we have two OEMs that will be in their facilities testing again. Uh, we have a UK uh, OEM that will be in their facility in April. We have a UK motor manufacturer will be in their facility in April. So we've got a series of tests signed up with companies that would, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're large enough companies, I think they'd move the needle should we, uh, should we get to the point where there's an agreement between us. No, it's incredible. Now you've also added uh, Dan uh, Matheson as a strategic advisor. How are you kind of uh, implementing him into the team? Yeah, Dan is, you know, since we've announced the uh, uh, the proof of concept on the grid-related inverter, uh, we've been having a lot of inflow of requests and people want to talk about it. There's there's a lot of a lot of interest and value in, in increasing efficiency on the grid, of course, and that, that includes so many different things, energy storage, uh, uh, battery storage, so on and so forth. So it's solar, wind, uh, and Dan is, is intricately connected to the energy companies, utilities in Ontario. He's already opened up some doors. There's a lot of interest. We're estimating we can increase efficiency by as much as 2%. And that relates to millions of dollars of increased revenues in a 20, 250 uh, megawatt farm, whether it be wind or solar. And the utilities in Ontario are keenly open to having a conversation with us. So Dan's opened that door. He also opened the door today. We just made a post that uh, we were, uh, we've joined and are part of the uh, APMA. Flavio Volpe is the CEO of APMA, and uh, we met with them yesterday. They've invited us into a Canadian project called Project Aero 2, where Canadian automotive parts people join together to make a full Canadian car. So we're very excited about what's going on, and Dan has opened up many, many doors for us. No, that's awesome, but I'll pass it off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing, because when News Catalyst continue to the wire like this, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.